In this exercise, we're going to learn how to extract tempo from audio. In this case, I have a drum pattern that was played not to a click. And just to show you that we don't have to use Beat Detective with some R&B, hip hop, dance music, something with a really strong four on the floor beat or something like that. In this case, I've picked a Caribbean groove that a drummer played. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, he was pretty much in time, but you can definitely hear a couple places where he slowed down and sped up. And we're going to want to make sure that Beat Detective takes care of those places. Now, why do I care about getting a tempo map at all? Well, the reason I care about a tempo map is because I want to be able to align other parts, either audio or MIDI, to this drum pattern. So the easiest way to do that is to create a tempo map so my bars and beats line up with the tempo, and then I can easily drag other audio or use Beat Detective to move audio and MIDI to line up with my bars and beats. So just to show you what I mean, here's a loop that I found, which is basically a Zydeco spoon player. And here is a piano part that I created. Now these parts are aligned together, and in fact they're aligned to the click too, as you'll hear. But since the drums were not played to a click, it's going to be off when I play them all together. Okay, you get the picture. So let me go ahead and mute the loop, the piano, and the click. In fact, I'm going to hide those. And let's just start by focusing on the drums. Now before we use Beat Detective, there are a couple things we have to do. First of all, we want to make sure we can see our bars and beats, our tempo map, and our meter. If we want to hide or show any one of these things, we do it from the drop down over here. And bars and beats is my primary ruler because it's highlighted. I can see that. And here's my tempo and my, and my meter. And I want to see that so I can see the tempo that Beat Detective puts in and see how my audio is aligning to the bars and beats. Okay, the second thing I want to do is make sure that the drum pattern is starting right at the first beat. In this case, if we zoom in, you'll see that the first bass drum hit is right here, and that's far off from the beginning. So Beat Detective is not gonna do a great job if I don't tell it where the start of this audio is. So I'm going to correct that. And before I do anything to this drum part, I'm going to group these three audio tracks together. So I make sure anything I do to one, I do to the other. So my drums always stay in sync. So I'm gonna create a group, Command G, and we'll call it Drums. And now if I make a cut here, all three parts are cut and I can drag them all the way to the left. And now it's pretty much starting on the beat. It's close. And you can see looking at bar two and bar three, we're pretty close to the beat, but Beat Detective is gonna help us get even closer. 